Hi, everyone. Hope everybody's having a good night. Um, it's Sunday night, and I'm just making some fabric bundles. Um, and I thought I would just come on and say hello. So if you're here um, this evening, if you would please just go to the right-hand side and <coughs> say hello. Um, so I have some news that I'm going to share with all of my um, friends and my subscribers. And so I just thought while I was packaging tonight, we kind of talk about it. Um, I'll probably do some freebies and some giveaways for those that stay in chat tonight. So hi, Handmade from Lisa. And hi, Nancy. Thanks for mu so much for joining. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Um, our both of you junk journalers. Hope I see some more people joining us. Awesome. Please come on in, say hello. Um, so I'm packaging up some things. Um, I have a brand new shop on Etsy. Um, and I was packaging some fabric bundles. Um, because I love to use fabric in my junk journals. And I wanted, and I wanted to show you guys how to use some of this fabric. So once we get a few more people in, um, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll start um, using some of these fabric pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope um, you were able to rest a little bit over the weekend. Um, it was beautiful here. So um, we're happy to have nice weather. They're talking about having um, some more snow and some yucky weather later this week. So um, Lisa, if you're still here, or Nancy, if you're still here, um, do either one of you junk journal? Oh, Nancy, Lisa, you do junk journal. Awesome. Uh, Lisa, do you use fabric in your junk journals? Oh, you're back. Perfect. Um, do you use fabric in your junk journals at all? Hi, Tori. Thanks for joining. Well, I'm glad you use fabric. Um, I think fabric is just such a great addition. Um, and even if you don't sew, um, fabric is wonderful. And so I love to sell these little fabric packs. Um, and my fabric packs include two inch strips, six different colors. I call them my junk journal bolts. <laughs> and you get six different colors and you get quite a bit of fabric in these. They're 22, or I'm sorry, they're two and a half inches wide by 44 inches long. So the length of a bolt of fabric. But just allows you to have fabric for this craft, um, for flips and pockets, absolutely. Um, it allows you to have some fabric and have, and not having to buy a ton of fabric. And so I found that, you know, a lot of crafters, they want some of these elements, but they don't want to go and buy it, or they can't find some of these fabrics. So um, I have over a thousand yards of fabric. And um, so I decided that I was going to start sharing some of it with, with people who um, are interested in fabric like I am. So not only if, you, uh, if you're not a junk journal, journaler and you like to sew, these, these pieces are awesome for that too. So, hey, Barbara. You love small fabric packs? I do too. And you guys, I have so much fabric, it is just ridiculous. Um, and so that's why I'm, you know, just sharing. I think it's time for me to start sharing so that I can get some new things for all of you um, who are out there too, who are part of my following. Um, I did start a brand new Etsy shop today. So I'm excited about that. So um, please head over to my Etsy shop. I'll pull it up on my phone and show everybody. Um, if you're looking for some supplies, I'll be adding things every day. Um, and I will definitely, um, anybody who purchases from me this week is going to get um, free gifts. 
So this is my Etsy shop. It's Rachel's Cute Creations without an S. You know, my YouTube channel is Rachel's Super Cute Creations, um, but somebody had that. So my Etsy shop is Rachel's Cute Creation. I opened it up brand new. Oh, really? Today someone mentioned me? Um, was that Selena over at, um, was that Selena that mentioned me today? Selena, perfect. Yeah. Um, Selena and I have been kind of working together over at Amour Fabrique. Um, and so, yeah, she, oh, I'm so glad she mentioned me. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, for those of you who know me and have been following me, I do a lot on YouTube. Uh, I do a lot of live sales and I'll still do live sales and do deals on there as well. Um, but I decided to open up my Etsy shop. I just, I took the big plunge and opened up an Etsy shop. So I'm really hoping, um, you know, that, that I can continue to share with all of you and, and um, excited about just venturing into that new realm of things. So that's just a little bit. Thank you so much. So I guess while we're here, what are some things that you guys can't find on Etsy that you really would like to find? Is there anything that you're looking for right now? Hi, Erica. How are you? I just shared uh, my new surprise, and I know you know this, but it wasn't public until just a few minutes ago. My Etsy shop is officially open, Erica. So I'm here tonight pack packaging some fabrics and getting ready to put some more things in my shop, chatting up, and we're going to do some giveaways today. Hi, Sandra. Thanks so much, so much for joining. So what would, what are things that you guys like and are looking for and aren't able to find in shops? And I, and I want to talk a little bit about Etsy shops. I know there's just all kinds of sort of talk out there about, you know, some people don't shop at them because they're so expensive. And um, the thing we have to remember about Etsy shops, you guys, is that it is they're small businesses. Look at this scale fabric. I love this pink scale fabric. Um, they're small businesses. And I feel like um, I've preached for so long that I, we need to support small businesses, but yet um, I do support them, but yet I didn't have my small business out there. So I'm jumping into the realm of small businesses through Etsy. And I'm really hoping um, that, you know, my little store will take off and and I'll be able to, to do some things. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks for congratulations. Um, Erica, I'm not sure if you would be able to, um, nothing like putting you to work as soon as you get here, but if you would be able to run over to Etsy and put my link in there, I'd appreciate it. Um, it's Rachel's Cute Creations. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you while we're packaging. Um, so I just did three three pink kits that are going to get ready to go in my shop. But let's kind of play a little bit around with some fabric. And, I, and as I was going through this, I found some fabric pieces that were small. So what a great way to start building some things. So we're going to go ahead and play with these pieces a little bit. And then we'll package some more. And... Um, I just kind of wanted to chat. Um, Sandra, I'm hoping Erica will put that link in there for me. Erica, will you be able to do that? If not, hang on. I might be able to do it, guys. I'm hoping I don't knock you off here. Copy. Let's see here. Hope this works. Okay. Are you guys able to see that link? Oh, it says error. Oh, mom, 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 hang on. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. Remember, I'm new to Etsy, so... Um, as I said, I'm, I'm learning the platform. I'm trying to 
find the link. Um, and of course, it does not want to work. Okay, I think I can get it from here. Hmm. There we go. Okay. We'll be right back there, Barbara. Okay. Hmm, you guys, it's not why I'm not sure why it's not letting me go to the shop here. Let's try this. Thanks, Sandra. The name of the shop. Um, is Rachel's cute creation. You're not sure how to link to share yet. That's, that's the problem I'm having, Erica. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, Sandra, I'm going to go in and try to make you a moderator to see if maybe you can. I'm not, YouTube has been acting silly today, so, um, Okay, Sandra, I added you as a moderator. It is case sensitive, so please make sure you use a capital R, a capital C, and a capital C. And I know my YouTube channel is creations with an S, but my Etsy is not. So, all right. So while you guys, I'm hoping you can help me. <laughs> while you could do that, I appreciate that. Um, let's just make some little clusters or some little flips. So um, I have this pink fabric. I want to work with just pink since that's what I have on the table. Um, and I'm just going to do some tearing. Um, all the fabric that I have is um, nice cotton. It's either vintage cotton fabric or it is, um, or it's, um, quilting fabric so it's they, they're all different brands companies um i don't use there's nothing against it but i don't use walmart fabrics or kmart i'm sorry not kmart, but joanne's fabrics just because they're typically the first dye lot of a many things i don't know if you guys are aware of that but quilt shop fabric the reason why it's more expensive is because they practice oh this is not wanting to rip they practice on the stuff from Joann's. And so a lot of times you can get prints that are similar to some of the other prints. Um, but they they practice on the Joann's fabric, which is why they can get it cheaper. <coughs> and um, and then they go over to the, you know, the big box stores, and, or I'm sorry, some of the bigger stores and the more expensive fabric, and they will then um, print that. So. So I'm just adding a little bit of lace here. And, you know, you can continue to layer and layer and layer. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, I like to layer darks and lights. Um, you can add buttons. You can add lace pieces. Um, and if you have a sewing machine, you can definitely take this and sew it, which I do have my sewing machine on my desk today. I'm not going to pull it over, but I will go ahead and just stitch this one down. Um, but then I'll show you how to just glue them as well. So let's get this here.
So all I did is just stitch that down and you can add buttons. You can add, um, you know, trims, whatever you want. Um, but the cool thing about these little flips, <coughs> excuse me, um, is that you can put them in your books. Um, I'm looking on my desk here for a journal. Let's just find a page here. So if this is a page in my journal, I can just add this to my page and I can have a secret journaling spot underneath it. Um, I can, you know, of course, add it to the bottom if I choose and I can have a secret journaling spot here, but just really you know, neat, quick embellishments. You've been taking old clothes apart. That's cool, Barbara. The other thing you can do is you can fold fabric. So sometimes I will take my fabric and I will fold it like this. some weight on that for a minute and let's see here let's do another one so I could take this like this I can make a triangle I can grab that little bit of lace that I had You can add it right along the top like this. Take it, put it right through my sewing machine again. Whoops, and I unthreaded it, of course. Sorry, guys. There we go. Let's try this again. Okay, so now I have this little triangle piece that's fun as well. That can also go at the top of a page or at the side of a page or whatever you'd like to do. So I'm not sure how many of you have made triangle flips. Yes, I do have purple flowers on my page. This is what it looks like. It has a lavender. Yep. Can you see it, Sandra? It should look like this. Found it. Awesome. Thank you, Sandra. So anybody ever made a triangle one? So that's another way that you can do it. Um, the other thing is you can make long flips. So I can take this piece. Whoops. And I can make long flips. Now, the thing a lot of people ask me is, well, what if I don't want just a two and a half inch strip? What do I do? Well, you can layer. And sometimes when I don't have a large piece of fabric, I will take the fabric and I will kind of do a faux layout. So I'm pulling strings because I want this frayed look right here. And all I have to do is layer these pieces like this. 
So now look, I went from having, you know, two and a half inches to almost five inches. <coughs> and then, you know, I have this little scrap here that we're going to use. I have in my other scrap bin, I have a piece of this muslin. So we're going to use a piece of muslin. So I'm going to tie this together just like that. I'm going to add this little piece. And we still need something else for our page flip. Thank you so much, Sandra. I appreciate it. I don't know why I wasn't able to get that link in there. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some lace, just a couple pieces of lace. So I'm going to add that, but I still want to add something else to this. Find some more pink fabric. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I actually want that. And a lot of times I'll just make some of these clusters and leave them. And then you can always add things to them. So, for example, um, just grab something here. Like for example, here's a flower. So I could take and add this flower and put a button in that middle of that. I get my button. It's one of my button jars. So that people that don't have a sewing machine can do this. I can show you how to do this too. Um, just be careful with Fabri-Tac. You don't need a lot on there because it will go straight through your fabric. We'll also make your fabric stiff wherever you put it. So, which I'm okay with because that makes it easy to put down on your page. So I just kind of dotted along there. Hi, Selena. I'm actually packaging things up for my shop, but I decided while we were here, I would show them what to do with some of these junk journal fabric packs. So I'm making little flips for pages. So we just sewed one on there. And now I'm showing them how to combine a book page flower onto 
their fabric flip and we're going to add a button and we just made this adorable fabric page flip And I want to just give a huge shout out to Selena. If you have not gone to Amore Fabrics, you have to go over there. Um, Selena, I'm going to make you a moderator and you are welcome to add your link below um, because she has some amazing stuff, you guys. She's such an inspiration. She's an amazing person and um, she just just does great things. And so you are welcome to add your shop. Um, let me get a bigger piece of paper so it would look like. This is not amazing coffee dye paper. And it already has the pink in it. Look at this. We could take this, put it at the top. Is that not beautiful or what? And I even might go across here and add something else because I still feel like it needs something. Um, you know, I think I might even add this little bit of lace. I sometimes go overboard. Anybody else do that? I love Selena's I Spy Quilt too. If you guys did not check out her video and her I Spy Quilt, she is doing some amazing things in her shop tonight um, to support autism awareness. So I hope you guys check her out. So what do you think, you guys? Do you like fabric flip? And then you would glue along the top and then um, this would flip up. So this flips up so that you have a secret journaling spot. So see how cool that is just to have a fabric pack. Um, you know, if you have a certain color. So I'm making what I'm calling journal uh, mini fabric bolts or packs. And so that is what these are. So I've made three pink ones so far. Um, and I think we'll move on to maybe like a purple or something. But yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Real cute creation. Thank you, Tori. Thank you. Um, but I mean, just look, just a little something at the top of a page like this one doesn't have enough stuff for me. So I would definitely come in here and I would find a button. I would at least put one little button on there. But more than likely, I would probably put like three little buttons across there. Um, I, would, I need to dump them out because, oh, actually, maybe that one works. What do you think? You guys like the button on there? Erica, I love your little smiley face. It's so cute. What do we think? Should I add the button to this one too? Yes. Okay. So we're going to add this button. I think that is super cute. Super, super cute. All right. And then this one, we have to add something else to this one, too. Let's see if we can find a button that'll go. Maybe we could do three buttons across here. What do you think? Three buttons? I don't know if I like those. They're not all the same color. And they don't have to all be the same color, but they're kind of too similar. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Maybe we'll do this one and this one. And that one. What do you think? Just do one button. 
like that, Tori? I have another one of these pink sparkly ones, but I don't think that one's dark enough for this. Oh, here, how about this one? Hi, Naomi. Thanks so much for joining. I haven't talked to you in so long. You guys, Naomi is from uh, Australia. And so she doesn't always get to join us. Um, I actually have that big purple button, too. See, this is the problem. I can't commit. Um, oh. Oh. I think I found the perfect one. Now, if I can just get it, I pushed it all the way down to the bottom of my jar. Normally, if I was not on video, I would just dump all these out. There we go, you guys. I think this is the perfect button. It has like a pearl. It's kind of pearly. All right, so what's everybody's favorite colors? I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. For those of you who know me know I love my pink and my creams. I like cream. I like pink. Um, I just love those sort of shabby chic colors. You like pink too, Tori? Yeah. So we're going to let these dry while I package a few more um, packages. And we're just we're just going to kind of chat tonight. What do you ladies want to chat about when it has, it has to do with junk journaling? What do we want to chat about? <coughs> Excuse me. You started to like all colors, Barbara. I know. I have a hard time, too. It just depends on my mood. Pink is my favorite color for sure. Um, but then from there, I just, I don't know. I like all colors, too. Naomi, what time is it um, over there right now? I always get confused with the time zone. It's 11.51 a.m. Okay, okay. I wondered. So they're on break. So that means mom doesn't have much time to do things, right? Because they're right at your feet. <laughs> I remember those days. Cherish them because uh, they will come to a point where they don't want to be around you. <laughs> All right. So let's get some of the red fabrics out. Let's get those out. All right, so there's 11 of us in here, and it's very quiet. And so I want to know, what are you guys, what are you guys working on? Um, I asked, another question I asked earlier was, you know, what do you guys want to see in Etsy shops? Are there, is there anything out there that you just can't get your hands on that you've been really wanting to get your hands on? I love these reds. You love that rose fabric? I know I do too. I have, there's more rose fabric to come because I haven't gotten down to the pile yet. But yeah, this is going to be a fun, a fun. So what are you guys working on? What's your latest projects you're working on? There's quite a few of us in here, and we're awful quiet. Let's start chatting it up, ladies. Oh, Sandra, you just got to keep doing it. I promise you it will, it will, it'll get better each time you do it. 
You're making trifold booklets, Naomi. Oh, that's great. I just, um, I've been making trifold journals myself. And I just put one in my Etsy shop. Um, there's going to be two more going up soon. Maybe even tonight. I'm not sure if I'll have time to get them all on tonight or not. Um, but those are so fun. So fun. <coughs> Yeah, we are our, our own worst critics. And you know what? Um, to me, you know, I one of the things that I, I struggle with a little bit is I don't like the term junk journal because to me, they're art journals. And everybody does them a little bit differently and everybody does a beautiful job. Um, and so, you know, I've, I've really tossed around, do I start calling them art journals? Because to me, they really are art journals. Just because we're recycling things or repurposing things in a different way doesn't mean they're junk. And I think sometimes when we give tell people, you know, what do you do? Oh, I junk journal. And people look at you a little crazy. Um, it it kind of diminishes the art that we do. And so, I don't know. I've been really tossing that around. What do you guys think? I mean, chain charm for your journal. Yeah, so many people aren't using junk at all in their in their journals. And, you know, that's fine. It just depends on what you have. When I first started, I used all recycled materials because that's what I had. And then, um, you know, I went from there and was just started using a combination of journals. I still love, I love coffee dyed fat or coffee dyed um, pages. So, you know, now I use a lot of coffee dyed paper in mine. Um, I sometimes use printables, you know, and I think it, it just, I, I struggle because I think these journals are so beautiful. We call them junk journals and people think they're junk, you know. <laughs> I call them journals just because there are some using scrapbook kits, recycled materials. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Naomi. I, I think we have to you know, call them what they are. So I'm loving this reds packet. I think it's gorgeous. It has some beautiful, beautiful colors in it. So what else is everybody working on? How do you guys, I want to, you know what? I have a topic that I would love to talk about tonight and I'm hoping you guys will help me out. Um, it's funny because Eric and I had this conversation earlier today. You're making a journal with red teal accents, favorite cover. Cool. Eric and I were talking earlier today. Let's talk a little bit about gifting these journals um, you know, we talked about the fact that, you know, people really don't know what junk journals are. Now, when you gift your journal, let's just say journal, when you gift your journal, do people know how to use them? Um, because, I hear, oh, my gosh, you guys look at this. It says, I caught the quilting bee. This is so cute. It's got little bees all over it. Oh, and little bugs. I love this fabric. Um. So I've been talking about your writing in a journal. Cool, Sandra. I'm glad you're doing that. Let's talk about gifting journals. How do we gift journals so people understand how much time and energy we put in these and that they really are something we want people to use and get use out of? I'm hoping you you ladies in, have some ideas. I'm hoping we can kind of talk about that tonight. So what does that look like? Because I don't know about you guys. I love making journals. Um, I don't sell my journals. I, I'm going to start selling more of my journals. I sell some. Um, but I have tons and tons of journals. And I and think I want to gift them. But what my fear is, is people don't like to write in them because they're, they're not journalers. They're not every day I'm going to write in them. What... 
else could they do with them? And I'm hoping you all have some ideas and that we can kind of brainstorm together to have some ideas for our journals. Everyone I have shown asks and I explain that they are like an interactive diary. No need to glue things down when you have pockets and keep photos and little pieces in. And then you just document. Okay. So it can be a place to store things, right? Um, so, you know, one of the things I talked about earlier today um, with a friend was I think absolutely what Naomi is saying. She's saying, you know, you put tickets in there, you can put pictures in there, you can put, you know, these are great small ones to send with people when they go on vacation. Put your receipts in there. Put put things that you liked about your vacation or different things that were cool, um, ticket stubs, maps, those types of things, and just save that. I think we have to talk to people about memories because I know with the new digital world, you know, people aren't printing pictures as much as they used to, unless they're crafters or they're scrapbookers like we are. You know, they're holding them on their phones, they're holding them on their digital pieces, and they're just not printing them. So how do we get people to start capturing these memories so they can look at them later? And I'll be honest with you, I'm guilty myself. I have lots of things on my phone that, you know, I haven't, I may not capture if I don't print them. How do we get people back to that lost art? Sandra, you write in yours? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, so Naomi's also saying, you know, she gave her mother-in-law a journal Bible. Um, so Naomi, can you explain a little bit more about that? So is this something that she put scriptures and things in? Sandra writes notes and puts pretty, in pretty paper and puts it into pockets and tuck-ins. I think that's cool too. Um, you guys, the other thing is, is how about we start creating journals for us? And one of the things that I think is really cool is techniques. Um, somebody talked a little bit earlier um, about the fact that they, you know, they're not sure about their journaling. And, and I think it would be fun to create a journal where you did a different technique on each page. Wouldn't that be fun? So you could start looking at your progress in this art. Um, if you like to watercolor, if you like to paint, if you like to draw. Um, but I want to encourage you, for those of you who know me, know that, you know, I was a teacher for many years and I'm a principal now. And, um, you know, I think we need to start encouraging our youth to do something else besides just on their phones. I think, you know, going back to writing, going back to drawing and some of those things that I believe are going to become a lost art soon if we don't start encouraging that in, in fun ways. So our journals definitely can encourage our youth. You know, we have graduations are coming up. And how are we going to, you know, what wouldn't be better than giving a college student, a soon to be college student or a soon to be um, student who's going um, to get their first job, a little notebook or a little journal to start documenting what that experience is like. Okay, so Na Naomi says it's a Bible with coloring pages and room to write notes and thoughts on the side as she's reading. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So what do you think? Let's, do you think we can, what, what can we come up with for graduation ideas? Anybody else have any other ideas besides me babbling? What other ideas do you guys have? <coughs> Excuse me.
How else might we give um, one to someone who's graduating? Any good ideas? You can make a journal with encouraging quotes for someone who someone who needs to be to be reminded of how special they are. Absolutely. So I want to go to a whole nother level. Um, Selena was talking that this is Autism Awareness Month. And, um, you know, how might we make some interactive journals to support children with special needs? And um, I'd like to do, you know, I think we should challenge ourselves this month to create some journals or a journal, even if it's one, let's, let's, let's start with one, create a journal to help a student with special needs or help a child with special needs. You know, how can we get them <coughs> to interact with that journal? I know that, um, that Selena shared her I Spy Quilt and it's absolutely beautiful. If you have not checked it out, you have to go over to her site and you need to check out her I Spy Quilt that she showed today um, because that is amazing. All that sensory is so cool. But how do we take those colors for Autism Awareness Month and how do we create an interactive journal for children? Any ideas? Naomi says a signature book, kind of like a yearbook. Plenty of textures. E thrives on textures. Yes, um, absolutely. Um, and, and for those of you who don't know, E is, is her youngest son. Um, so how might we put, you know, we're, I'm messing with fabric right now, but wouldn't that be cool to just create a book um, with fabric and textures in it, um, with flips, you know, we talked about this, flip. wouldn't it be cool to have a flip and maybe even, you know, if you have a young child, you could put words in it. If they're learning how to read, um, you know, you could put words in there. You could put a picture in there. Um, you know, I just think that would be really fun. And the thing is, is so what if a page gets ripped or so what, because these are meant, when we make our journals, they're meant to be used. Pop-ups are great. You know, gears. But these textures, see this paper, these crinkled up. Everybody knows how to make these, right? These little book page um, flowers. Just the texture and the crinkle and the sound. If you don't know how to make those, I can show you um, real quick if anybody wants to see that. But <coughs> absolutely, Naomi, shakers would be wonderful. So I challenge you guys, ladies, um, to think about that and think about how might you engage a child with special needs or even a child that doesn't have special needs. How do we engage our children in these journals? Everybody's quiet tonight. Naomi, thank you so much for just continuing to, to talk with me. I, I, I kind of feel like a one-sided conversation. <laughs> Magnetic puzzle pieces on the page. That's a great idea. No, Naomi, keep talking. Keep talking. So, I mean, Naomi's coming up with all these amazing ideas. Wouldn't that be cool? So maybe what I will do is I will, um, maybe I'll do a challenge. Maybe that's what I'm going to do is put a challenge up this month. And um, Selena, are you still on here? I don't know if Selena's still with us or not. Selena, if you're still with us, will you let me know, please? Because I have an idea. And if you're not with me, I will... Um, I'll message you. <laughs> yeah, pom-poms would be cool. 
Um, the other thing you could do if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a journal and you wanted it to be a little more durable is you absolutely could make fabric pages. You could um, you know, make make fabric pages that flip so that um, you know it's more durable and sew it together. Um, that would be cool. Bells, squeakers, pops, yep, clickers, those are cool. That's a great idea. <clears throat> All right, shall we do a giveaway? Who's up for a giveaway? No one wants a giveaway tonight. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us. We're just chit-chatting. Okay, so I made these little embellishments. Let's give them away. Let's give these babies away. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I have to do is I have to get my envelopes because if I don't, I will forget. All righty. So I've got two, and let me see what else I have on my desk that we can give away. We'll do three giveaways. You guys have so much junk on my desk. All right, and I'll do these two um, handmade clusters. All right, so we're gonna do three giveaways. That is a really cool idea, Naomi. I forgot about those. I'm glad you brought those up. It would be neat. <clears throat> All right. So for the first giveaway, um, I'm going to ask everybody to select a number between 1 and 20. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hey, it was impromptu tonight. I'm just uh, putting together fabric packs, junk journal fabric packs. And um, decided to come on and just chat. We're just chatting tonight while I'm working. And um, for those of you who came in late, I announced I opened a brand new shop today. Um, the link is above. Oh, guys, I haven't even told you what number to go between yet. Uh, this is my brand new Etsy shop, Rachel's Cute Creations. Anybody who purchases anything this week is going to get an amazing gift free with any purchase. Um, each day I will be adding more and more to my shop, but um, the link is above if you're interested in checking it out. But please go over and check it out and at least um, select me as a favorite. Just, just give me a favorite and select. Um, oops. Oh, darn. See, there I go. Told you guys I'm new at this. Okay, there we go. And so, um, you know, head over there and stuff. Each day is going to have new stuff. Um, and so these fabric packs will soon, soon be in there, I hope. And I'll still do lives. I'll still do lives. But all right, so we're going to pick a number right now. Between. Oh, thank you, Carrie, for following my Etsy shop. I appreciate it. 
Yes, I'm ready, Naomi. I'm officially ready to ship internationally. So thank you so much for asking. Yes, through Etsy, I can ship internationally and it will actually tell you how much it's going to be. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I went over to Etsy because um, I was having so many problems shipping internationally here. So with the Etsy, I'm able to just, you know, print it out and ship it internationally. So that's exciting. All right, so we're gonna do our first drawing. Um, I want you to pick a number between one and 20, I'm sorry, one and 35, one and 35. The number closest is going to get this first one. One in 35, go ahead. Okay, so I have, Tori has 24, Sandra has 15, Jennifer has 21, Barbara, um, Barbara, you were at 15, 16, and now 20. Which one do you want, 16 or 20? And Erica's at 13. Barbara, 16 or 20, which one do you want? 20, okay. Naomi, if you're still here, I'm waiting for your number. Carrie is number seven. Oh, Carrie, I found some fabric that you're going to love. One to 35, 23. Okay, so the number is 24. So the closest, oh, Tori was right on the button. Good job, Tori. Yay! Tori and, and Naomi, you were so close. Tori, um, for everybody who knows how my giveaways work, um, you have to go to Ray 2014 at gmail.com. Go right now or as soon as we get off and send me your, your address, um, your mailing address. So many people don't do that and I end up with these giveaway packages still here in my office. All right. So we're going to do, I'm going to pull another one and then we're going to bag up some yellow fabric. Okay. We'll bag up some yellow fabric. Carrie, you screenshot my address and keep it in your photo gallery. Okay, cool. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. Um, let's do it range from 50 to 75. 50 to 75. Pick a number between 50 and 75. Fifty and seventy five, ladies. <laughs> we won't tell, Carrie, we won't tell. You ready? The number is 51. 51. 
I have to scroll back up and see who looks like Sandra. Crafty Mom got it. Yay! Sandra, please go over to my email. Send me an email with your mailing address and I will ship that out. I want to ship them out tomorrow, ladies. All right, so we'll hold this one for a minute. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's see, let's see. I thought I had more yellows than I did to do a combination of yellows. Hi, Valentina, thanks for joining us. We're just chit-chatting a little bit while I'm getting things ready for my brand new Etsy shop. So we've talked a little bit about making some interactive children's journals tonight. Um, what are maybe some ways that you could create a journal for those pet lovers in your life other than a place for them to just, um, you know, rather than a place for them just to store pictures, how might we use it in a different way? You guys, for those of you who are just joining us, we're kind of talking about some different ways to use journals. And, and if we're gifting journals, you know, what are some ideas um, that we could include for people who just really don't know what to do with them? Because not everybody, are, not everybody loves to journal like most of us out here who are doing this craft. So we're just kind of chatting about that. And while we're, we're waiting for that conversation, um, also, I want to let you know, I'm going to have some classes on Teachables coming up soon. So please keep an eye on my, my channel. Um, and I have some more surprises that I don't want to share tonight. But you guys, if you um, just keep up on my subscribed to my channel, please give me thumbs up. Um, if you don't have the um, the bell clicked to let you know when I'm on and when I'm, um, you know, posting new things, you need to do that because I have a lot of really cool stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, in the next couple weeks, there's going to be lots and lots of announcements. Oh, that's a good idea, Carrie, making a guest book. Making a guest book. So not only might you make that for someone who has passed away, but what about... Um, for a graduation or what about for a special birthday party? So I'm thinking about, <coughs> um, you know, if it's a 60th birthday party or an 80th birthday party, wouldn't it be neat to have a place where people could write in there just a little something? Um, or even how about a first birthday party for, for a child and making one so that people could write um, something to that child. I love that idea. I love, love, love that idea. I just might have to do the first birthday journal so that people can write a little note at the birthday party. I just think that's a cool idea. Yeah, a memory journal is a great idea. You know, just continuing to make those memories. Like I said, you know, we're not, I just think we're in a different age now where we're not, 
um, saving memories like we used to. You know, people, I just remember, you know, my father-in-law used to take pictures and, you know, everybody had to be in pictures. And now people take pictures, but a lot of times they don't come off their phones. And so I wonder what's going to happen, you know, years from now. Um, when our children and our grandchildren are older and where will those pictures go? Keepsake book to hold cards. That's a great idea as well. You know, let's hold birthday cards. Let's hold, you know, let's make one just for Christmas cards. Let's make one, um, you know. The other thing I love is handwriting, you know. So let's make cards that are going to, or let's make journals that are going to hold those cards that have people's actual handwriting on them. That's a great idea too, Naomi, making them for moms and dads in the NICU. You know, they're there for a long time. And even just for notes, and I know, um, Naomi, you can speak to this a little bit. Um, but I can too. Um, our daughter, we have one child and um, she was very sick when she was born. And we were in the hospital, not as long as Naomi was with her child. Um, but we were in there for um, 14 days. And we made lots of trips back and forth after that 14 days. Um, and it would have been nice to have a little journal to keep notes in. Um to be able to, you know, write down feeding times and things that were in the hospital, because honestly, we were just scrambling for any little bit of paper we could find while we were there. Um, so I love that idea, Naomi. I love that idea. Absolutely. Bracelets and things. So these are all really great ideas. Naomi, I'm gonna, you and I are going to have a conversation. I'm going to tap into your brain a little bit about some of these ideas because I have, have an idea coming up. And um, some of these ideas might, might just come alive in this uh, project that I have coming up. So now I'm working on um, cream bundles. Because one thing I use a lot of creams in uh, my junk journals. And the other thing that's nice about the creams is that you can dye them. So if you have cream fabrics and you get a sampler pack of cream fabrics, <coughs> excuse me, um, and you need it to be more vintage looking, you can dip it in tea and you can dye it. Um, you can. If you have writ dye, you can writ dye it. So there are some different things you can do um, to change it up. So I do sometimes like to do that. Um, and sometimes if you have Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, you can spray the fabric too. It will hold the color. It will hold color. It will allow you to do that. Okay, um... For those of you who don't know, I also own a long arm quilting business. So I have a gigantic <coughs> um, cutting table in my basement. And that's how I cut it so neatly. Um, I have these huge rulers that I use. And um, I'm able to, to cut very straight um, because I'm using these gigantic rulers. And I use a gigantic cutting table. The fabrics were beautiful. Um, so I definitely need to find somebody that is trafficking because I need some of that fabric. It is gorgeous. Oh no, we're buffering you guys. All right, so 
Um, I've been on for about an hour. I think it's time for me to get off. I appreciate everybody tonight. Um, I love pretty clothes tags too. I'd love to do one more drawing. So we're going to do a drawing from 60 to um, 90. The number that's 60 to 90. <coughs> Sixty to ninety. Give me whoever's the closest is going to get the last little packet. Look at how cute this is. is. That not adorable? Love that. Yeah, I agree, Tori. It was. DSP necessarily using, you know, they are gifting them or they're making them and then they're saying, you know, what do I do with that? I agree, Naomi, um, because my daughter, like, they cried when we left and we were only there 14 days. So I can't imagine how the NICU nurses feel. Okay. We are going to, the number that I picked was 88. Who has 88? 88. Let's see here. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer Russell, thank you so much. You won. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Congratulations. All right, Jennifer, if you will please go to my email and send me an email, I will get this out first thing tomorrow. Congratulations, congratulations. So um, please, if you get a chance, please go over to Etsy to Rachel's Cute Creations. You guys check it often. Um, I'm going to be trying. My goal is to put one or two things up a day um, and continuing to fill up my store. Um, and bring cool things. If there's something you guys are looking for, please, you know, let me know because I'm out there looking for all kinds of crazy things. Plus, I have all kinds of things all over. If there's anything fabric oriented that you are um, looking for, you know, shoot me an email in Etsy or shoot me a message and I'll see if I have it. If anything, if you would please just favorite my shop, even if you don't purchase anything, if you would favorite, um, I did, Erica, didn't I? Look, I was just looking. I have three sales. How exciting. Um, you know, just check it out. At least favorite my shop because that helps put it towards the top. If you haven't given me a thumbs up for this video, please run over and give me a thumbs up at the top. I'd appreciate it. Uh, please check out my YouTube channel. There's going to be lots of things coming out on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a wonderful Sunday evening.